Hi, my name's Roger. Today we're chasing Jurassic Giants, or what the tackle shops call king worms. They're really big stumpy worms. They look a bit like a snake. They're so massive, and they're very strong, really hard to pull out of the sand. So we're gonna head down to the beach and see if we can get some. That's a pretty good sized worm. You can see he's like not quite as thick as my fingers, but pretty solid. That's definitely what the shops call a king worm. Not quite a Jurassic giant, but a very good worm. And still a real challenge to catch, whether you're using your fingers or pliers. It's difficult to catch these big worms because they're so strong. So let's have a look and we'll find some bigger ones. Look at this guy. Okay, just got to keep him interested for a minute. Uh, yeah, another beautiful bait. When you're catching the big ones, you need to make sure that they've bitten onto the bait and that they're committed because then you can distract them for a minute so that you can actually grab the worm low down. Because when you're catching these big thick ones in your fingers, there's no point trying to grab the worm near the top of the head. Because if you grab the worm, if you grab the worm near the top of the head, it just slides straight through. I'm actually grabbing these worms probably um, about about there. I'm grabbing them maybe five centimeters down. You can actually see the indentation where my fingers have grabbed the worm just there. You can see that little bit of blood. oil all over it so it's making it hard to grab them and you can see they're pretty thick they're a pretty big thick worm oh look at that guy they are so hungry these guys now he's latched onto it we're moving him across got him oh, look at that thing I was in a tackle shop the other day and they were selling these in a takeaway container for $25 and there was maybe two or three worms. But once you learn how to do it, you can catch as many as you want in a few minutes. And it's a whole lot of fun. I think I might have a go for a dewy off the beach tomorrow night and use um, some of these worms for bait. These guys are sticking their heads out quite a long way. I've got to wait till he bites onto it. Then he's committed. Once he's committed, I can tease him for a minute and then get him. Put him in back in there. Let's keep going. <laughs> Man. It takes a little bit of effort. Look at that. Look how thick that is. Now that's what you call an extra large stumpy worm. Wow. If you'd like to learn more about beachworming, why don't you visit my website, beachworming.com.au. I've got heaps of helpful stuff that will really get you on track to catching your own beachworms.